up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Now, today on Troubler, I want to have a heart-to-heart with Mr. Logan Paul. He's been saying some mean stuff about me, and I want to respond. But before we get into that, let's talk about the rapper 6 9 making claims that Trippy Red was hooking up with Daniel Brigoli. Rod. No, I'm gonna say that. I didn't say this. I didn't say this yet to nobody. I was gonna release it soon. Uh huh. But you know, Trippy Red fucked that little Daniel Pergoli bitch, right? Yeah. Damn. Trippy Red is 18 years old and Bad Baby's like 14. Now, when this news came out, Bad Baby responded by jumping on a live stream with a rapper 6ix9ine, and this is what she said. Roll it. I know him around that time. No, so, I don't. I'm not. You know, I'm not saying. I'm not. No, I'm saying so. Why would he tell you to pull up to the studio? Because because he was 17. He was 17. I found him to be attractive. Whatever. All right, cool. Uh, I like uh, him. Okay, cool. Next, on to on to what I was saying. You're laughing like it's funny. On to what I was saying. No, no, I'm laughing. So, at, at, he, yeah, no, no. Just not, listen, not listen, only, listen. Not, hold on. Not only did you find him attractive, I'm guessing he found you attractive too. Because I guess up. so. I guess so. But anyways, like I'm saying, I was 14. He was 17. So it's okay. Like I was 13, you was 13, he was 17. I was 14, I was 14, I was 14, I was 14. I was 14. Just fucking spooked the whole time. And that that's the first, that's when we kissed. And that's it. There was no fucking, no nothing, no none of that bullshit. So Bad Baby confirms that her and Trippy Red kiss. And Bad Baby also said that she was 14 at the time and Trippy Red was only 17. Apparently that makes it better. I don't know. And now a bunch of 6 9 fans are attacking Trippy Red, calling him a pedo. Also in the news, Little Tay. Okay, Little Tay is broke, guys. She she doesn't have money. She's not rich. Even more news is coming out on why Little Tay's mom got fired. Story coming out today that Little Tay's mom got busted using her boss's car for an Instagram video. That's right. On Instagram, Little Tay would say that this car was hers and she's rich and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't. It was her boss's. And that's part of the reason why her mom got fired. Just trust me on this, people. Little Tay is broke, okay? Broke, broke, like broke, no money. And speaking about broke, somebody broke an entry on Casey Neistat. Today, Casey Neistat uploaded a video titled, we had to call the police at 36A. Yeah, guys, apparently like a crazy fan like snuck into his building and refused to leave until he saw Casey. Like Casey had a clip of it. Here it is, watch, roll it. Pixelating the guy and I'm trying to alter his voice because I would assume he's doing this for attention and the last thing I want to do is give him attention, but this is what it this is what it looked like. By breaking into someone's I'm place. Not breaking into anyone's you, place. Oh, you're not welcome here, dude. I don't care. You can't do this. You set an example of what not to do. Of like the most you are no one has ever made it by breaking in or walking over I'm somebody else. I'm not breaking in though. You are oh, not. Nice. You're in the facility. This is a building with a closed door and a lock and key. And you snuck in the front door and you came up the stairs. You're making yourself look really stupid in front of a bunch of professional people here that are trying to work. Look at me. Casey's at me. not gonna come look in me. if you if you look at me. Are here. Look at me. You gotta go. You gotta go. The door is over there. Look at me. Look at me, you've been waiting out here for like two days. This is not how you do these kind of things. I know you're trying to meet Casey, you talk to Casey, you gotta wait downstairs like everyone else. So I appreciate Dan, I appreciate Sam, I appreciate Patrick for trying to get this guy out of here and do the right thing. Ultimately, um, the police did have to come. We did file a proper police report here. Um, the crime is criminal trespassing. Look, I, I don't know if this guy wanted to hurt me, if he wanted to selfie with me, I have no idea what he wanted, but when he was confronted by three people who clearly know me, he refused to leave. Showing up at my office, as public as I make the address, showing up here is just not appropriate. It's just, 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 just stranger danger. Also in the news, NASA. I love NASA, they're so great. They're sending like ships up into space. They're scientists, they're, they're figuring out the world. They're exploring. Um. And you would think that they would have all their shit together, but apparently they don't. NASA has their own Twitch channel over at the twitch.tv called, well, NASA. And apparently astronauts were up in space and they had a GoPro when um, this happened. Roll it. <laughs> hey, um, Houston, I got a question about the GoPro real quick. Wall ears, go ahead. I see a no, yeah, I was pushing the button. I see a no SD 
That means, do I need that to record? And if it's recording, is there supposed to be a red light on? <laughs> NASA, how could you? Okay, I expect this from my aunt or something. She takes the GoPro out on like a family trip and forgets the SD card. But you're NASA. You can't slip up like this, NASA. Come on now. Forgetting the SD card. And now for our final story. Logan Paul. All right, me and him have to have a chat. Logan keeps saying that I'm fake news. Okay, we're, we're going to talk about this. Basically, the Hollywood fix ran into Logan Paul, and uh, this is what Logan Paul had to say. Roll it. What was your question? I'm sorry. So is it, are the, bah, this is crazy, bro. Are the drama alert reports true that your dad is, like, taking over the company and, like, firing everybody? Uh, no, bro. No, that's... That's... It's 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 a shame that the rumors are, are spread the way they are. Okay. I can I can verifiably factually say that's not true though. Okay. Okay. So Logan again saying it's not true, but Logan then on his Twitch went deeper saying this. Some mayonnaise. Yeah, bro. Not to be a not to be a chooch, but um, Keemstar. He he has lost my respect when it comes to actually telling what's happening in the news. Um. And I know he'll probably see this clip. What's up, Keem? How you doing, bro? You remember that one time you told people that I told fans at uh, Rice Gum and FaZe Banks' uh, pop-up shop to come across the street so they wouldn't go to their pop-up shop? Remember, remember you told them that I was, like, telling people to leave? And then, in actuality, what had happened was I was just randomly on the same day picking up uh, my truck and people just flocked naturally. So that was the first time I was like, damn, bro, this this dude just like spreads news without even knowing if, it, if it's true or not. My, he's like straight up CNN in here. It's, it's fake news all over again. And then need a couple more things. And then um, the thing about my dad and I, I, look, I get it to a sense like you want to uh, you want to you want to tell the stories that are juicy. The stories that uh, baddest Lee again, thank you for the bits, bro. You want to tell the stories that are juicy, the stories that will get clicks that people will talk about. But at what point are you just becoming um, an, an unreliable source of news because everything you're saying is uh, not true? Which, which again, I get it, bro. Like, I, Keem's, Keem's thing is I think he, he walks the line between actually telling news and then having a point of view and opinion and wanting to just talk about things and what he thinks... Um, maybe the case and how he perceives it. So I, I get it. I get it. it. Just sucks that sometimes it is involving my family and uh, my relations. Okay, so that is Logan's response to uh, this news about his dad. There's a lot to respond to. First, let's talk about the whole incident which happened when FaZe Banks was launching his clothing line, Loose Change, and Logan Paul showed up and kids ran across the street and got hit by a car. Now, Logan, when that took place, I was very upset at you because I was told by multiple people that you showed up there on purpose to get attention. You saw that FaZe Banks had a line of kids all the way around the block waiting to get his merch, so you showed up to draw some attention to yourself. Now, that's what I was told, and that's what I believe because that is something, Logan Paul, that you would do. That's just something you would do. Now, at the time, I uploaded a Twitter video saying that I was just pissed and furious at you and I ended up deleting that video because there wasn't enough evidence to support the claims that you were there on purpose. I don't believe I ever even reported that story here on Dromler. It was just simply a Twitter video and since there wasn't any hard proof that you actually did this intentionally, I deleted the Twitter video. Okay, so that's my response to that situation, but let's talk about this whole thing that we've talked about here on Dromler with your dad and Polo working together, running audits on your company and Jake's company, deciding to fire people, causing this big stir up, and causing basically Team 10 as we know it to no longer exist. We report it right here on Drama Alert that we had a source that worked for basically Jake's company that came out and said that all this stuff was going on. After we reported all this, after this news came out on Drama Alert that your dad was like literally going in and saying that person needs to be fired, this person needs to be fired, this person's a leech. After we reported all this on Drama Alert, 
Your dad tweeted out this. Business 101, if anyone has an issue with an internal business audit, there's usually a reason why, and no matter what an opinion might state, the fact is two plus two equals four. So if that's not an omission to your dad playing a role in your guys' companies running these audits, I don't know what is. But on top of that, Nick Crumpton responds to that tweet saying this. But nobody had an issue with you auditing. People had an issue with being verbally abused, watching their coworkers be fired around them, and not being kept in the loop. Business 101 communication. So what the hell is that, Logan? Both of those tweets support exactly what we said our source told us here on Drama Alert. Somebody's lying. Either Nick and your dad are lying about what's going on or you're lying about what's going on. Somebody's lying. I have two sources inside your camp telling me what the hell is going on. And then your dad posts this tweet confirming that he was the one doing the audit. And then Nick posts this tweet confirming that your dad was firing people, confirming that your dad was verbally abusing people. So here's what I want to do, Logan. I want to have better communication with you. I'm in contact with almost every major YouTuber, and when stories come out about them, I reach out to them to confirm different things or to get statements. I have not done that with you because, well, we just haven't had a good line of communication. But moving forward, let's get a better line of communication. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video today. If you want to keep up to date with all the news going on in the online community, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Okay, when a video comes out on Drama Alert, you want to be notified immediately. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to slap a like on it. That's how I know you're digging the vids. Drama Alert Nation, now over 3,700,000 subscribers.